Hello, this is Bart again. Welcome to part three of my trek from Angeles Crest Highway up to Windy Gap, east on the PCT to 8426. So I'm a little bit past Windy Gap, a little east of it right now on the PCT, and I've just entered this incredibly beautiful white fir sugar pine forest on this north facing slope here. And the shade is very, very well appreciated because it is a very warm day. And today's uh, July 27th, and that's a very warm July 27th. Uh, we're in the middle of a heat wave in uh, lowlands. Up here, it's probably in the upper 70s. I mean, it's not super hot up here, but it is warm and the sun's very intense. But uh, yeah, I just had to take a little extra time to show you guys this beautiful sugar pine forest. Sugar pine, white fir. Nice beautiful sugar pine here, Pinus lambertiana. Then we got this really stunning white fir right here. This is Abies concolor. Very stunningly beautiful tree right here. Looking very nice and lush. And then that, see this area here goes towards Little Jimmy Campground. And that area is even lusher than this. A couple springs in the area, Little Jimmy Campground. Very thick forest over there. It's beautiful. Then we have, see we got Pleasant View Ridge here, that's Mount Williamson, and that's the ridge that divides where the South Fork Trail comes up from South Fork Campground, and uh, the other side being closer to the Devil's Punch Bowl. So you can basically follow that ridge, that follow that ridge with your eyes, you, I mean you can't do it very well here because of the tree cover, but you follow it with your eyes, it'll, it'll, you'll follow it down towards uh, right near where South Fork Campground is and I believe near Big Rock Creek Road. But, here we are. Well above 7,000 feet, getting, getting closer to 8,000 feet. Not quite yet, I don't think. But, some beautiful forest up here. So predominantly sugar pine and white fir right now. And here's a plant you might have seen occasionally. This is called pine drops right here. It's related to the snow plant, that red plant that comes up. But this is pine drops. Same thing, I believe it's uh, heterotrophic on the roots. Uh, the, I, think it's, I think it derives its nutrients from the fungus, I believe the mycorrhizal fungus, that connects with the trees and shrubs that grow here. So that's pine drops. And it's closely related to the snow plant. And they're both in the heath family, the Ericaceae. And so it means they do have some sort of kinship with manzanitas, madrones, heather plants. So, just a little something interesting to bring up there. And just beautiful scenery up here basically in short order this area is going to start becoming more exposed a lot sunnier and hotter as I round the ridge and especially heading towards where the curve fire cleared over the ridge from the south side to the north side and there's a tree graveyard up that way as well so I probably won't be in the shade for much longer, which is unfortunate because it's very nice. I said it's a very warm day today, and I'm overheated from the, the heat wave we've had. I live in North Orange County, and by Buena Park, I live in Buena Park by Fullerton, not that far from Anaheim, and it's been constantly. The last few days, mid to upper 90s, got near 100 degrees uh, a couple times this week. So I'm just very sapped of energy. I have very little energy when the weather gets hot, and it's taking its toll on me. But I'm just taking an easy pace, 
still still improving from my accident a couple months ago but starting to feel better hiking starting to improve so my sense of adventure should be coming back as for now I think I'm going to find a place to sit and bust open a water. So I'm getting close to the exposed part of the hike. Peak 8426 might be over, might be over past that over there. I'm not sure. But I know we go into the tree graveyard here and then we start doing switchbacks. After the switchbacks, I go straight for a while and then I look for the peak and where the trail swings around the north side of it that's where I know I'm getting close well, I'll see you in part four we'll be at the junction where I start my cross-country walk up to the peak